Okay, so today is the 21st of June, 2015. I decided to uh, go on a hike. Um, this is a uh, Bordeaux Lake Trail. Bordeaux, I think is how you pronounce it. And uh, the trail actually goes past uh, the lake all the way up to the top, or somewhere near the top of Mount Bordeaux. I've never done this trail before. In fact, I uh, actually just learned of it last night. Late last night, and uh, got a bit of a late start today. It's about uh, it's about three o'clock right now. I started hiking about 15, 20 minutes ago. And uh, so far it's pretty good. It's mostly uphill, it's a fairly light grade though, it's not too bad, but all, all uphill so far. Um, clearly I'm breathing hard. I uh, took a few minutes to stretch out and kind of get myself prepared, you know, physically and mentally before I stepped off. Um, it seems like it's a pretty popular trail. It's well maintained. The uh, At the bottom of the head trailhead there, there was quite a few cars, probably about 20 cars or so. Trailhead's really easy to find, which is nice. There's been a few trails I've done where you're driving up and down, back and forth along the highways and back roads to find the trailhead, but this one was easy, which is nice. Okay, um, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's a, uh, a lake, or not a lake, river, stream, whatever you want to call it, just down the bottom of the hill to my right as I'm in inclining. So if I needed to, I find a source of water, there'd be some down there. I uh, brought plenty with me to start. I've got a three liter bladder in the pack. You can see the hose there. It's a, uh, I believe a Camelback Omega Reservoir. And uh, I've also got an Algene, uh, I think it's a 32 ounce, whatever, the regular size Algene. And that thing is full. So I'm hauling a bit of extra weight that I don't really need to be hauling right now, but part of the reason for this trip is to get into trail shape for, this upcoming September, when hopefully I'll be doing a long trip, probably a 10 day hike or so. Um, it's unconfirmed as of yet. I still gotta figure out the trail path, get the uh, map, GPS coordinates and all that sort of stuff for it, but that's the plan anyway. We'll see how it goes. But for today, Bordeaux Trail. I did bring enough food for a couple of days. And again, I don't know what this trail's like. If there's any, you know, camping spots or whatever. Um, if there is, the plan is to stay at least one night, maybe two, and then head back. We'll see how that goes. If there's nowhere, to camp, then, uh, well, then I guess I'll come back today. Okay, that's it for now. I'll catch back up with you in, in a little bit. All right, well, I just ran into some day hikers coming down the trail, and uh, so they were telling me that near the top here, and I don't know if they meant by the lake or at the top of the mount, uh, I'm going to imagine them at the mountain, but the, uh, the trail apparently has three bears lurking about somewhere. Um, now they said they didn't see them, that they were just told that they're around, but I'll trust them. And there's a few things you can do to, uh, you know, protect yourself against bears. One that's just make noise. You know, you can buy a bear bang, bear bell, uh, shotgun, bear spray, 
all these different things that'll, you know, help deter or be offensive slash defensive against a bear. But in most cases, the bears just leave you alone. Um, unless you're looking for food or you get between them and their cub, something along those lines. This hike is, I think it's about 11 kilometers to the lake. And then I forget, I'll have to look it up again. Uh, how far from the lake to the top of the, of the mountain or the end of the trail, I'm not sure. So on another note, weather's gorgeous. And this morning when I left, it was absolutely pouring out. It was rain, there's hail. It's cloudy, obviously. It's really kind of gross, and I was really debating on not doing this trip. But out here, it's beautiful. It's probably 20, 22 degrees, somewhere in that area. You know, very, very light breeze, mostly clear skies. What clouds there are, they're puffy and white. Whatever that kind of cloud is called. Definitely not a rain cloud. Now, that's not to say it's not going to rain later. Or get ugly tonight. Because I believe the forecast does call for that. But we'll see. Now, because of the inclement weather this morning, rain hail and all that. I did come with a few things of warmth. Like I brought rain jacket and pants, toque, puffy jacket, thinking that I might get kind of shitty out. Might have to hunker down when it's cold and wet out. So right now it looks like that may be unnecessary weight, but tonight may tell a different story. Well, I made it to the bridge. You see the view behind me there? Now, time is 3.44, so it's been about, you know, 45 minutes to get here to the bridge. Whew, it's muddy on this side. Now, I don't know if I'm making good time or not, or... You know, probably slower than some. I do've got a, uh, you know, a decently heavy pack on. Uh, I didn't weigh it, but you know, guessing somewhere in the 30 to 40 pound range, something like that. Anyway, now when I was crossing that bridge there. You can tell it's a fairly new bridge, and there's some uh, looks like some old pillars stabilizing stuff possibly an old bridge had been washed out uh, at uh, creek that we just crossed there so it's all it looks like it's all runoff from the mountains normally I'd stop there and fill up my water filter my water and fill up my uh, my Nalgene bottle and my bladder but uh, Guessing I've only had about maybe a liter of water so far out of my bladder. So I've got two left there and then my Nalgene's still full. So I've got plenty of water. And I'm also going towards a lake where obviously I can collect water there too. Now somebody's telling me that the entire trip from trailhead to trail foot to the end is 11 kilometers and that the uh, 
the lake is not the 11 kilometer mark. I don't know. I, uh, I didn't really look it up to be honest. I just started walking. But I've got my GPS tracking this trip. I turned it on a little bit late, but it's tracking most of it. And I'll uh, give you all the details at the end. Elevation gain, the time it took me, etc., etc. Okay, just wanted to give you a little update and uh, just let you know how things are going. Like I said, this trail is really well maintained. There's some spots where it's pretty rocky, you know, but for the most part, you know, it's that kind. It's that kind of ground, you know. So you could easily do this in like a nice hiking shoe or something like that. I prefer boots. I like the uh, the angle support. You never know when you're going to need it, and there's a. Uh, there's weight considerations, of course, but there's good weight and there's bad weight. All right, good weight being, you know, something that yeah may be heavy, but it's useful. Where like the like the boots over shoes, like having you know a knife that's got a full tang on it instead of just a folder in case you need to collect some firewood, you know, dig a small trench or whatnot. All right, well, I have arrived at what I believe is Borgo Lake. There's a sign right here. Let's turn around. Right there. Uh, down that way. It's the lake. Let's take a couple of pictures down there. There's a sign. You can see that. It's, uh, it says Borgo Lake. It's a little disappointing that it's there's a lot of rocks. I haven't found a good spot to camp yet. Um, time is. 5 17 p.m. So it took me about two hours, two hours and 15 minutes. I did stop for oh, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Chatted with the uh, a couple, they gave me a couple ideas of some other hikes that I might want to do. Um, so Harvey Lake is uh, it's up that way, and Harvey Pass, and then I believe. A little bit past that is the top of the mountain. Um, right now, altitude is, uh, according to the signs, 2,150 meters. Uh, I'm not sure what I started at, but I'll uh, find out when I get back down to the bottom. I'm going to continue on, see if I can't find a spot to, to camp. Uh, if I can, I'll probably stick here for the night. Do a uh, bear bag, because there's a couple of... Well, there's a bear and a couple of cubs hanging out around the area. And if I cannot find a good spot, um, I'll decide in a little bit whether I'm going to continue on. To... All right. Uh, well, I think last time I was talking to you, we uh, ran out of room on the phone again. Um, cleared up some space, did some podcasts, and I got a little bit of room. So I'm at my campsite. You see I've set up my tent. Um, I've got my water filter. Uh, filtering down. Um, I've got a stove on the, on the boil. I've got some water going. I'm going to make some craft dinner. Have some to eat. As soon as I've finished eating, I'm going to uh, fill up my, my water bladder in my backpack. That way I don't have to do it in the morning, hopefully. Because you never know, it might be raining first thing in the morning and that would just suck. I'm going to do more chores in the morning when it's raining when I could have done them now, when it's, you know, mostly clear. It's, it's spitting a little bit. I'm kind of hiding underneath a bit of a tree beside the tent here. Um, temperature's all right. It's probably about uh, I don't know, 15 degrees or so. Um, it, it did cool off quite a bit. There was a bit of a breeze going on. 
Um, I put my uh, my puffy jacket on, but right now it's Reeves has calmed down and I'm all right. Um, I think tonight I'm just gonna have some to eat, do some camp chores, you know, maybe uh, cut some wood or something, um, fill up the Camelback bladder, and uh, sit back and maybe just read a book, just chill out. I think one of the uh, next purchases. Uh, for gear, it's going to be uh, some sort of camp chair. I've got a uh, like a tripod chair, but it, it's not very comfortable. Um, I've got my eye on one, but uh, we'll see. Just gives you something to, to sit on rather than the floor or the ground out here. Um, I normally bring um, like a piece of uh, uh, an old camp um, pad, like a foam pad, just cut up. Um, it's actually my dog's. So when she comes out, she has something to lay down on that's not just the ground. Um, but it works great as a little seat too. If you've uh, you got a log or something, you want something to cushion it up a bit, it makes it nice. Um, anyways, I'm going to have something to eat and then uh, get to it. All right, so the time is right now 3.29, 3.30 in the morning. Um, I had to uh, debug out. It's about 1.30 in the morning, and uh, those grizzly bears that uh, people kept warning me about decided to move into my campsite. Um, I had my, uh, luckily I had my pack separate from my, uh, my actual tent and, and where, I was, where I was camping out. Um, what I had done is I had stuck it in, uh, in the middle of a bunch of, like a growth of trees, um, in an attempt to keep it away from any, any potential bears. Uh, seems to have worked. Um, the bears had actually, uh, pushed a couple of the trees down, uh, in an attempt to get to my bag, uh, get to my food. Um, I, uh, woke up to the sound of, uh, the trees falling. Um, sat there for a few moments, give the, the bears a chance to take off, and then uh, immediately packed up my shit and got out of there. Um, took me about uh, an hour and a half or so, an hour and 45 to get back here. Um, it's 98% downhill um, on the way back, obviously 98% uphill on the way there. Um, my feet are uh, pretty beat up right now. They're uh, they're swollen. Um, I'll have to have a look at them when I get home. I'm not sure if they're they're torn up or if it's just blisters, but they uh, they hurt pretty good. Um, so I'm going to uh, head on home and uh, call this call this one in the books and uh, maybe try again later. Okay, bye.